Welcome to Yoga for Balance, created by Full Circle Phenomenal, mastering the art of inner and outer travel, recorded during the Unite the World firsthand, drive around the whole world global movement. Welcome to Shangri-La on Isla Santa Cruz, Galapagos, Ecuador. Today we'll be focusing on a series of different poses for the beginner as well as intermediate levels. All of these forms can be done on a regular basis in order to increase one's balance, not just with oneself, but with one's reality. I'm Jesse Hart. Thanks for being here. We'll start by warming up our spine, pulling the navel in and up, chest up and crown up, fully lengthening, getting in touch with how we're feeling in this moment. Once we've begun establishing ourselves, let's really ground down by letting the torso, arms, neck and head hang in a rag doll. Slowly breathing in through the nose, expanding our lungs to their full capacity. And out the mouth, consciously releasing all the air. And we're just going to hang and let the blood rush to our head, jaw, neck, shoulders, and arms. Then let's slowly peel up the spine, one vertebrae at a time. Keeping the breath steady and consistent, focus your awareness all the way up, saving your neck and head for last. Once we're up, we're just going to relax our arms, head, neck, and shoulders back into a gentle backbend. Support yourself by putting your hands on your hips, thumbs in the middle, or fingertips down your glutes. Go as far back as possible, still steadily breathing, and then hook your pelvis under and forwards, flex your low abdomen, and inhale, pull yourself up, and exhaling down into a ragdoll once again, releasing the whole of the torso head, neck, jaw, shoulders, all the way down through the arms to the fingertips. And then once again, peeling back up, tracing awareness up the spine, filling up those lungs, and then once again, exhale, opening the arms, back bend. Support the low back to go further. And then inhale to come back up. Let's loosen up the neck now. Rotating the neck, inhaling, the head lifts up, exhaling, the chin comes down across the chest. Going small to big circles and focus primarily on lifting the crown away from the shoulders and the shoulders away from the crown on that inhale. And then exhale, relaxing the chin down with the shoulders to the chest. Then we'll switch direction. Keep breathing in as you move the neck up and back. Exhale, forwards and down. You may begin to notice that as you really loosen up your neck, the whole spine, torso, all the way down through your hips and legs become involved and move all together. Coming back up, having now greater clarity between the head and the rest of the body, inhale and bring your right arm up with your left arm down and slowly exhale and arch the spine over the side. Using that left arm for support, inhale and pull your chest and shoulder open. Exhale, arch further over, further down. Make sure you have an even amount of pressure in both feet and keep going, breathing steadily in through the nose and out through the mouth. And then inhale, rise back up with the arm. Exhale, bring the arm down. Then inhale, bring the left arm all the way up overhead, soften the shoulder down into the socket, and then exhale, arch over to the right, sliding your right hand down your leg. Inhale, open up the shoulder and chest to make sure that spine is staying level and even with your hips, and exhale, move further over and further down. Holding this position for a few breaths, on your inhale, checking in with your posture, and the amount of pressure you're experiencing, and exhaling, letting it go, and perhaps going a little bit further. Then inhale, rise back up, exhale, bring the arm down. Notice how we're always breathing in on an upward movement and breathing out on a downward. So inhale, bring that right arm back up, and exhale, arch over and down. Inhale, open up the shoulder and chest, exhale, Further over, further down, sliding that left arm down. Hold for a breath. And then inhale, rise back up with the arm. And exhale, 
slowly bring it down, always consciously moving the body with the breath. One more time, inhaling the left arm all the way up, and exhale, sliding the right hand down the right leg, arching over. Inhale, opening up the chest and shoulder, keeping that spine straight with the whole of the hips, legs, and feet. And then let's inhale, rise back up, holding the energy above the head. Exhale, move the energy down, scanning through the body from head all the way down to foot, consciously and manually releasing and relaxing. Now let's make a little bit of space in between the feet. And we'll gently twist out the spine, relaxing the arms and pivoting on the opposite set of toes from the direction that we're twisting. Inhale to front, exhale twist. Looking as far over your shoulder as would create a soft limit for you. And then we'll pivot on the heel on the same side that we're twisting from. Still looking over each shoulder, inhaling to front and exhale twist. Doing this for a few times and really loosen up the body all the way through the legs, torso, arms, neck, and head. And then we'll slow down and come back to front. Good. Let's begin on our balancing techniques. We'll start with star pose. Even amount of pressure spread throughout the sole of the right foot and come on to the left tiptoes. Pull the belly in and up the spine, flexing the abdomen gently, and focus the eyes on a non-moving point straight out in front of the body, maybe just a few feet or a meter or two. Inhale and open up the arms up and to the sides as you slowly reach your left leg out. Balance if you need to. Touch a toe to the ground and lower the arms a little bit to the sides, but slowly keep coming back up here, holding that core in, keeping the eyes focused, and breathing steadily in through your nose and out through your mouth. Breathing into wherever you're feeling the pressure, probably in that right ankle. You can challenge yourself by moving a little bit in this position, shifting the legs and arms. Taking your time. If you fall out of it, that's okay. Just come right back into it and see if you can hold for a couple more slow breaths before releasing down. Lowering that left foot, lowering the arms. And then let's switch sides. Even amount of pressure spread throughout the left foot. Inhale, bring the arms back up. Come onto the tiptoes of the right foot and then bring it out to the side. Continuing to keep the core in and the eyes focused. Breathing consciously into where the pressure is. And noting that with every single breath, you are growing your muscle memory of the balance. So positively affirm this to yourself as this is what's going to help you to grow faster. Let's inhale and reach the arms and leg out as far as we can, and then slowly exhale and soften, lowering the arms and foot down. Rotate out the standing ankle, if that feels good for you, in one direction and the other direction. Be sure to do both ankles, even if one feels more intense than the other. Always want to complete circuits, always doing both sides, treating our left and right sides equally. All right, now let's move into chair pose. This is good for strengthening our thighs. I'll show you from the side to begin with. Feet about hip distance apart, all toes pointed forwards. Inhale the arms up, and as you exhale, begin to bend the knees gradually, sinking the hips down, making sure that you can see your toes poking out in front of your knees. Go down as low as possible in this way, and then hold for a few breaths. Same as before, inhaling through the nose, being present with the pressure, exhaling out the mouth, releasing as much of that pressure as possible. See if before you come out of it, if you can breathe out any unserving thoughts and feelings. Then rise back up on the inhale, holding the energy above the head, we exhale and consciously, manually scan through the body, relaxing, releasing, and giving ourselves some relief. Let's clear the ground, bending at elbows, inhaling the hands up, and exhaling the hands to palm over palm over the lower abdomen to our body's center of gravity. 
check in and notice what shifted from the beginning of your practice. Not judging, not critiquing, just staying aware. Now let's move into the popular balancing pose, tree. Bring your right foot into the middle, even amount of pressure spread through that right foot, and then bring your hands pressing gently together to heart center. Slowly lift the left toes up and still touching the toes to the ground, bring the heel over the right ankle and press the foot into the leg and the leg into the foot. Now if this is where you're at, just stay here. There's no better or worse tree pose as all will exercise different muscle groups. If you like, you can slide that left foot up to right underneath your knee. Still pressing the foot into the leg and the leg into the foot. Or you can go all the way into the full tree pose by bringing the toes over the knee. Never putting pressure into that knee just above it or below it. Pull the left knee back. Pull the belly in and up. Eyes stay focused on a non-moving point. Hands pressing gently together at heart center. And let's hold this for a few breaths. Steadily, in through the nose, out through the mouth. No matter what position you're in, if you fall out of it, come right back into it at whatever level that you need. Better to do baby steps over time than try to take off too much at a time and not progress. If you like to challenge yourself, you can slowly shift your gaze further up towards the sky or ceiling. And for full mastery, close the eyes. Perhaps just long blinks at first, as this is really challenging. If you begin to fall out of it, catch yourself, barely touch that tiptoe to the ground, and come right back into position, holding for another breath or two. Noting that every single time you do this, and clear your mind of any judgment, you're going to keep growing. You are getting better with consistency. For more flexible yogis, you can come into tree two pose, bringing the top of the left foot on the right thigh so that the sole of that left foot is forwards. This will open up your ankle even more. You might have to bend your right knee a little bit in order to create the right size shelf for your foot to rest on. Remember, not over challenging yourself. Don't have to do what I'm doing. But wherever you're at, let's release the foot down and rotate out that standing ankle, breathing into it, releasing and relaxing, rotating in both directions. Then let's switch sides, bringing the left foot into the middle, even amount of pressure spread throughout, hands together at heart center, and slowly, with your right tiptoes, slide the foot in to just over the ankle. Slowly get in touch with the balance on this side. Hold for a couple breaths, see how that feels, and then slide it up a little bit away from the ground all the way up to underneath the knee or the toes just over the knee. Remember, still pressing, no pressure into the knee, only into the leg, core in and up, pressing the foot into the leg and the leg into the foot all the way in through the core, up the spine to the heart center with the eyes focused and a non-moving point out in front of you, also known as a drishti. Hang out here for a while. You can always shift your gaze a little bit higher to challenge yourself or do long blinks to closing your eyes if you're really going for that full mastery. Remembering that all of these steps are necessary. Don't judge yourself for not being at an adequate level of balance as that's only going to slow your progress. Challenge yourself to breathe and focus on your balance over listening to your mind. More flexible yogis, move that foot on top of the thigh into tree two pose. Bring the hands back to heart center. Refine your balance and let's keep breathing. Then supporting that foot on the inhale, exhale lower down with control 
and then rotate out the standing ankle in both directions. All right, final pose for the practice, dancer. I'll show you from the side. We're gonna bring our right foot up, holding it with our right hand, left hand to heart center. You can hold here, bringing the knees closer together, or you can bring your hand to the inside of the foot and slowly begin to kick the leg back, bringing the left hand forwards, palm face up, going further and further into the full dancer pose. With that bottom leg straight with a slight bend in the knee, even amount of pressure throughout the foot. Hold here, keeping those eyes still focused, easy to lose balance, catch yourself, come right back into it, hold dancer pose, kicking into that hand, and then slowly exhale and lower back down. Rotating out the ankle, releasing the pressure. It's best to do this on the ground, on some grass or dirt. Typically, I wouldn't recommend doing it on concrete like I'm doing it here, as it's pretty extra intense on your ankle and leg. Let's do the other side now, lifting up the left foot, grabbing the outside of the foot with your hand, bringing the right hand to your heart center, holding here for a few breaths before continuing into the full dancer by grabbing the inside of the foot and beginning to kick it back, bringing the right hand forwards, palm face up, slowly sinking forward as the leg comes back. If you start to lose your balance, see if you can steady it out and catch yourself instead of giving up and falling out of the pose altogether. Hold here for a few breaths. And then on an exhale, come back to center and gently release. Rotating out, once again, the standing ankle in both directions. Getting always that oxygenated blood, those fluids in throughout the nervous system and whole body. Let's shake it out. Shake out the legs, releasing any excess tension. You can rotate it out from the hip, from the knee. Going all the way up through the torso, shaking out the torso, neck, head, and arms loosening up the whole body and smiling, releasing some happy feelings, some good endorphins to associate your practice no matter how far along you grew. Then we'll inhale, bring both arms up and overhead, hands come together, and slowly exhale with a gentle pressure in those hands down to heart center, touching the thumbs to the sternum and feeling the heartbeat. Giving gratitude for yourself for showing up. Gratitude for this practice. Gratitude for the space in which to practice in, as well as for one another. Completing this practice with a gentle bow forwards, reciting after me, Namaste. Good job. Support this channel and this journey by sponsoring your own yoga video. Links in the video description below.